the other mic. Grab the other mic. Thanks. Um, well, first of all, thank you all for coming. Um, I mean, th you came for them, but I mean, you're currently in our space, so we <laughs> still want to thank you. Uh, anyone who's gotten drinks, uh, thank you so much. But um, uh, a little, I was told to say something inspiring. Um, me and Will, I mean, it's just two, two of the five founders, and kind of one, one of my biggest things that I tell everybody um, is it really matters, like partnerships, uh, like a business partner, or even just finding really good employees, like people you can actually trust. Um, this business is based around my grandfather, um, who in the Soviet Union in the 1980s was making alcohol from peas. Um, that, that's kind of how it started, but it's changed, like even like besides like the decor and everything, uh, I make four out of my 30 products out of peas. Um, I, 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 I just constantly make different things, it's evolving, and with that, I mean, it's really important to have really, really talented, strong people um, like Will. So um, I, I'm the creative, I guess, in this sense, right? I'm the one making all the products, but um, my twin brother, who uh, you may have like saw, uh, seen like flash by, uh, he's on the finance side. Um, Will actually has, I think, one of the most crucial roles. And if you can find someone like this for your business, I mean, it's, it's insane how much of a positive impact it has. Um, just the way that the business is constantly changing um, and evolving, um, you kind of have to treat everything like that. So, uh, Will, tell us uh, kind of like your role here and uh, yeah. Yeah. So my name is Will Pru. I'm a continuous improvement engineer currently for a food company. I used to work at a medical device company. And so I focus strictly on continuous improvement at those companies and being a partner here at 3BR, this business benefits a lot from that as well. So. Just some things that we've gone through along the way that have really benefited having this role around is identifying things like waste and creating standards in the business, making things repeatable, um, doing things like 5S, for example, like labeling, sorting things away. Um, those things are really basics just to eliminate disturbances within your process. Right? Making something really repeatable is um, a huge first step, especially when you start hiring new people. Um, and like Alex brought up, getting people on the board that you trust, right? But they need to know what they're doing, right? Getting direction, feeling like the process is their own. And then they get to the point where they start updating the standards as they do it more and more and they start improving it. Continuous improvement really is about doing little steps along the way that eventually make a big difference. It's always great when you make a huge change and it's sexy and fun, but there's a lot of risk associated with it. And sometimes it doesn't, come to fruition because it's too big of a step. So small little steps of continuous improvement uh, make a big difference, especially here at 3BR. Things are constantly changing. There's always something new happening. We're doing processes for the first time a lot. Uh, so keeping an eye on the waste, right? By waste, there's seven different types of waste. One of the most important ones is overproduction, right? Producing more than you need. That's the basic of it. And so trying to identify what your customer demand is and only producing what your customer is demanding is really big um, in terms of reducing waste. But there's other types as well. Things that are easy to see, like inventory, right? Overproduction leads to inventory. When you have a lot on hand, things can expire. Things can be hard to find. Um, the customer may not want them anymore. They're not in demand anymore. Um, so always keeping an eye on the waste levels. And then additionally, other types of waste that can directly affect your team are like transportation, motion, especially if you do repeatable processes. Here at 3BR Distillery, we do a lot of cocktail making, we do a lot of bottling. Uh, those are repeatable processes that the team is doing all the time, constantly. Um, so really watching those processes, eliminating twisting, turning, lifting, ergonomic issues. Also great to have uh, eyes on all the time. So to kind of speak to that, to take over for a moment. So even from the production standpoint, right? Um, he, he mentioned bottling. Uh, bottling used to be a process that took three to four people. Um, and I mean, it, it's good if they're you know your friends, people that can help you out for free. But um, a lot of times it means employees, it means hours, it means uh, money. Um, so right now our bottling's down to two people, uh, which is, is massive. I mean, it's literally a 50% uh, cut from the four people. Um, Things like that, a lot of our, our products are made uh, with a two-man team 
Um, so it, it, it's all things like that. And we're one of the biggest distilleries in the state. You know, the fact that we can produce like that um, very, very lean is huge. And having a person on your team that you can trust to basically analyze every single process um, from a completely blind uh, standpoint, like not knowing anything about it. Same thing with our bar. A lot of things we do behind the bar are very, very different than other bars. Um, and that's because we'll look at it from entirely, you know, a, a visual standpoint and like look at the processes and figure it out. You know, where's the oh, where's the waste in this? Like, is there a need for an extra person on this, right? Um, and that's that's constantly changing and improving. Like. Even, even you know, a year ago, um, we, we had a completely different setup behind the bar. Um, and uh, I, a lot of that also is some of our hires. Like we, we just hired an amazing uh, bar, a bar manager. Uh, Taylor. Taylor. Yeah. Uh, so she, she brought with her a lot of expertise, uh, something that you know, none of us have ever ran uh, bar programs. Meanwhile, you know, she's run several. Um, and so, uh, you know, besides just also looking at it from from like the standpoint of uh, you know efficiency, there's also the experience aspect as well. So um, the combination of both those things is excellent for for eliminating waste. Yeah, and one last really important part about continuous improvement is data, right? So always try to look at the KPIs, right? Key performance indicators that matter to you, and they directly impact your process. So things like sales, for example, but additionally things like process times, right, or the FTE involved, aka the number of people, um, defects, things like that, right, trying to reduce your defects, increase your efficiency, all is based on looking at the data. So that's all I have for you guys today, but I'll be here all night, so if you guys have questions, you want to pick my brain, feel free to come up and ask me whatever you like. We, we have an insanely interesting story here, and I will love to talk to anybody. <laughs> I just figured it was a more inspiring thing to actually talk about an actual item for your business. <laughs> Thank you very much.